I'm Wayne Aker of DrupalTutor.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and configure CAPTCHAs on your Drupal 7 site. Uh, CAPTCHAs are an anti-spam technique. Uh, you've surely seen them, these uh, images with sort of squirrely l words, uh, obscured letters that you have to type in in order to prove you're a human being and not a spam bot. So I'm going to show you how that we can set those up on like your user registration form or, or comment forms on your, your Drupal site. Uh, so I have a standard Drupal site here without, um, it's basically just the core standard configuration. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is install the caption module. So we can install it like a normal module. And we'll go to enable it. Uh, it actually comes with two modules. So you notice there's CAPTCHA and image CAPTCHA. Um, image CAPTCHAs are the ones you're most familiar with where there's a, an image with the, with the squirrely text on it. So we'll enable both of those. And you'll see we'll get a message here that says to configure the CAPTCHA. Um, that actually takes us over here. I'm just going to show you where it is. It's under configuration and under people. There's a CAPTCHA link. And in this um, interface, we can decide what the default CAPTCHA is. And we can also put CAPTCHAs on individual forms. So um, I think these forms are fairly self-explanatory, but obviously this is the comments form for articles, the comment form for nodes, um, the contact form, uh, you know, user registration form. So each, you can decide whether or not you want CAPTCHAs on each of those individual forms. Now by default it will give a math CAPTCHA which forces you to do some simple like uh, addition mathematical equation. Um, but since we enabled the image CAPTCHAs, we can switch over to image. And let's just put it on the user registration form. We could do comments and things too, but uh, let's just put it there on user registration form image. Um, actually, it, well, if we change default, we could also just choose default type or image, but, and, yep, we will scroll down. I think all of these, all of these other settings um, we can leave alone. Um, might want to enable statistics that'll keep track of how many times the CAPTCHA has failed or passed. So we'll save that. And if I come over here, I have another browser open where I'm not logged into the site. If I go to create a new account now, you'll see that CAPTCHA is enabled. All right, so if I try to do this, if I try to create it without filling it in, it doesn't work. If I fill in the wrong thing, it doesn't work. Now this CAPTCHA is uh, pretty easy if it's not particularly uh, obscured. So it might be possible for a spam bot to, to sort of solve this one. So we can make it harder. If we go uh, back over here uh, to the CAPTCHA configuration, there's an image CAPTCHA tab. If you click on that, um, you'll see here's an example up here. There's a lot of settings we can choose which uh, letters and numbers are included. So sometimes it's a nice idea to remove like, uh, it looks like they, they have already removed some of the letters like a lowercase l, um, the number one, and they still have maybe like uh, lowercase i and lowercase j. Sometimes those are hard once you, they get kind of uh, sw sw swirled around. So you can decide which letters go in there. Um, some font size and settings. Uh, the main thing I color settings here. The main thing I want to draw your attention to down here is distortion and noise. You'll see that by default we have no distortion on the characters and no noise put in. So let's start by adding some salt and pepper noise and we can decide how much. Let's just we'll, we'll start with the default here which is high. And you can see right here um, sort of it'll, it'll give you an example of how that's going to look. Now that looks like quite a lot of noise, so maybe I'm going to lower that down a little bit. Let's go maybe with medium. All right, that's a little bit easier to read. And then I can also add some line noise. Okay, line noise puts these sort of extra things. Now that's getting pretty difficult to read there. 
Um, in addition, we could choose some distortion. So let's uh, maybe put it up here to five. We can smooth out this, the distortion. Uh, now you can see it might be a little tricky, but the lines have sort of been squiggled. Um, the characters aren't really, they're, they're not in their normal fonts. They've been sort of swirled around a little bit. Now this one is probably a little too difficult. Maybe we should cut back some of the, uh, let's cut back some of this noise level to low. Okay, that one's a little bit better. I think that's easy enough for human beings to read. And so we can see uh, this is already saved. So if I come back over here to my other page and refresh, um, you can see that we, we get that those changes applied immediately. There's a couple other uh, options for the CAPTCHA types. So for example, the CAPTCHA comes with math CAPTCHA. So if I just show you what that looks like, um, I can switch here on the CAPTCHA page from, for the registration form, I'll switch it to math CAPTCHA. And if we load this up, see it gives a simple math question instead of the images. And another popular choice is a reCAPTCHA. Recaptcha is a, a plugin. You've probably seen it before. It looks like this. It has kind of this red box. Um, it was originally used for sort of solving uh, OCR uh, problems with books. So you were actually helping to um, digitize books by doing it. I don't think they do that anymore because I've noticed that um, a lot of times now it's numbers and things like that. But um, it's still a, a fairly, fairly good service. So if you wanted to enable this, um, we, we can install the, the reCAPTCHA module. Again, we do this just like any other module. And we just need the reCAPTCHA part. Um, the mail hide module allows you to do some protection of email addresses. We're, I'm not going to cover that in this video. So um, under configuration CAPTCHA, uh, we have a new choice, reCAPTCHA. So we can set that up. And there's uh, one more thing we have to do, which is we need to set up uh, reCAPTCHA is a third-party service. You have to have some access keys. It's free, but um, you have to set up some ac access keys um, so that you can access the service in a secure way. So uh, there's a reCAPTCHA tab after you enable the module here under the CAPTCHA settings where it asks for your public key and your private key. And there's a link right here that takes you to a page to sort of sign up for the keys. Uh, I've already done that here in this, uh, this other window. So I'm just going to copy the keys. These are the, the keys after I clicked through and, and signed up. Uh, you have to give it your domain name. It'll only work. Each of the keys only works on one domain. So I've already set that up here. So I'm just going to copy this. So this is the public key and the private key. And theme settings allow me to change the what, what color I want. I think most people expect that red um, color because that's what we usually see. That's the default. And yeah, so I think that's all enabled. So that we got the access keys and the reCAPTCHA set up. So if I come back over here and reload this page, all right, now we're getting the sort of reCAPTCHA widget here. And if I save, it doesn't work. If I put in characters, okay, then it works. And uh, the last thing I'll show you is um, we did check to uh, have this start collecting statistics. So you can see those statistics on the status report. If you go uh, to reports, status report, um, there'll be a line here in blue that says CAPTCHA, already blocked four submissions, so those were our uh, failures that we tried earlier. And um, so you can keep track of how effective the CAPTCHAs are 
um, by seeing how many it blocked. Um, and then if, you know, if some spam is still getting through, you can compare that and see how effective sort of on a percentage basis it is. Uh, yep, yeah, so I think that's all there is to it. Um, you can use this module again. It doesn't just protect the, um, the registration form. It, um, you can use it for comment forms and, and any other forms on the site, contact forms, et cetera.